guys, it's me, Kelly, bringing you another great review, this time of the Masters of the Universe pop figures from Funko. Hard to believe, we've been waiting a year since the announcement of these. I got to see them at Toy Fair, and they were so cute, but I couldn't touch them. Now, we're going to take a close-up look at Wave 1 of Masters of the Universe Pop Figures. Each of the Pop Figures come in the standard Pop Figure window box telling you what Pop Collection they're part of. In this case, the Pop Television Series, the Masters of the Universe logo, and the figure number in that series. All the Masters of the Universe figures are numbers 17 to 21, with number 17 being our hero, He-Man, with a picture of his pop figure on the side of the window box, 18, which is his sister, Shira, 19, everyone's favorite Lord of Destruction, Skeletor. Spike Gore, because Skeletor does need one of his minions. N21, which is Hordak. All the pop boxes, like you've seen, has half of the figure as a cartoon version. On the side of the package, you will see the full toy inside with the name and their number and on the back you see all the Masters of the Universe figures that come in wave one of the pop figures. As you see this is also part of the 30th anniversary line and on the last side you get a side view of the figure inside. So let's open these up and see how Masters of the Universe translates into the pop world. Out of the box, each of the figures stand approximately three inches high. As you can see, they all come with the oversized heads and small bodies. He-Man and Shira do have their swords. Skeletor does have his Havoc staff. So let's take a closer look at each one of these and see how they measure up. So let's start looking at each of these little pop figures. As I've already said, they're about three inches in height. And being that they are part of the television series of the pop figures, they're based on their filmation appearances, which I think is great. Since it is the 30th anniversary of the filmation series, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He-Man does come with his page boy hairstyle and the spray on tan, big black eyes, no mouth, tiny nose. That is a big feature of all the pop figures. One point of articulation at the head only, so you can get him to turn left and right. The sculpt is beautiful. They captured the filmation harness very nicely. They give a nod to the classics line with how they did the power sword. On the back, he does have a place to put his sword and his shoes, or should I say boots, are done very simply. Same with his gauntlets, belt, and pants. Very simple, just in the filmation version. Can't have He-Man without Skeletor. Skeletor has a s 
slightly different sculpt than most of the pop figures because the face is normally smooth with the nose just sticking up. They actually sculpted on the eye sockets and the teeth so it's not a traditional pop figure for those who collect pop. This will definitely stand out. They even put the little extra flap that would be on top of a hood on there and his eyes as you can see are bright red. Most of the pop figures have black eyes so that's a nice touch. Again his head does turn left and right. They've sculpted on his habit staff and yes even his armor is sculpted on and if you, I don't know if the camera can pick it up maybe on this side but even the shoulders have the little pieces of armor that hang over so they did a really nice job on both He-Man and Skeletor one figure that surprised me when they announced the line hold on one figure that surprised me that the when they announced the wave has to be Spike Gore. Out of all the evil warriors, he's one of my favorites. He doesn't get get much love. I mean, he is the porcupine of the group. And Pop made sure to make his whole head look like a porcupine but they are soft so you don't have to worry about touching the top the front of the face the eyebrows are raised so again it's not your traditional pop figure the uh, the eyes are a bright yellow stand out nicely on his blue head again the one point of articulation the body where his armor is, is all sculpted with little spikes and he does come with his little trident so he's ready to do battle but Pop didn't stop there we get our Eternia set what about Etheria? we get of course Shira beautifully sculpted Again, the face is in the traditional pop with the painted on eyes and some eye lashes, so we know it's a girl. Again, one point of articulation, all her hair is sculpted nicely. We do see the tiara that came with her on the filmation. Her body is beautifully sculpted with her dress and cape and the sort of protection and the pose they have her in is like not this again which I thought was really sweet it's sort of like do I have to go through this again didn't I take care of this once even without a mouth that's what the body language is saying on Shira at least to me you can't have Shira without this guy Hordak for many many years people have been asking for a filmation style Hordak Funko gave it to us it is very close to the tune accurate as we can get with a pop figure he does come with the white face red eyes which are a little set in the spikes on the front of the head are 3D. One of the few times we see a mouth on a pop figure. His head is a little tighter to turn, but it does turn. The back is all black, and he does have his bones going around the face. 
the body, at least on mine, has a little bit of wear. I'm hoping that was done on purpose. So you could tell that he was in battle. But it's all beautifully sculpted. Very close to what we would see in the cartoon. I love these figures. And I'm glad Pop has focused in on the filmation. These are almost like the kid versions of what He-Man and Shira would look like. Maybe when they were like 9, 10 and running around. But they are so adorable that they would fit into anyone's collection. Whether you collect Masters of the Universe or pop figures or anything with oversized heads. These fit in beautifully. Till next time. You can order your very own Pop Masters of the Universe figures from our friends at Fantastic Plastic Toys. Visit them online today at www.fantasticplastictoys.com. Till next time. Bye.